Corey Holcomb responds to Donnell Rollins. As you guys know, it went viral earlier today that Donnell Rollins had inserted himself into Corey Holcomb's comedy show. He didn't like the things that previously Corey Holcomb had to say about Dave Chappelle and some other things. You guys can see Donnell Rollins pretty much pulled up and tried to check him in that regard. Corey Holcomb spoke on these guys today, definitely Donnell Rollins, and I'm going to give you guys his response, his audio that will be brought to you guys by the 5150 Podcast audio. And again, if you guys are new to my channel, please go down right now and hit that like button most important subscribe if you're new to the channel share this video and turn those post notification bell on to all i'm gonna give you guys this audio right here of Corey holcomb and what he had to say about donnell rollins as he responds to him and the things that's pretty much built up to this situation right here and then i'll give you guys my commentary at the end of it i'm up here at this lab factory Normally, I'm standing outside. I don't like to be inside these comedy clubs in Hollywood because once you walk in there, you on the grid where the people like TMZ and all the other company ran by them people, they basically get access to your whole whatever you do. Bottom line, I knew I was going up after him. That hurt his feelings because he was headlining the other shows. Right. You funny enough to headline them shows to the real bosses come in, homie. Nigga like me, they, they be scared to let me go up in the middle of them shows because after I get off, then y'all can't pull off what y'all trying to pull off. You know this, but that hurt nigga feelings. Hmm. So, long story short, old nigga went up there, did his time, plus stayed on longer. Let me tell all you all you mild as comedians, it don't matter how long you stay on. Soon as you get off, they finna see another level of comedy when I go up. This sound arrogant, but I gotta say what I got to say. So, uh, so the crowd wasn't dead. Cause you know, at the end of the night, they be like, oh, they seen too much. No, they ain't seen it. When I get up there, that's when they see something. So I didn't even know that he was in there. I thought I thought he left because he acted like he was leaving out. Yeah. The security guard at the front told me after all that happened, nigga act like he was leaving, but he was like, nah, that I'm gonna watch this. So he had some animosity with me. Right. I ain't never did nothing but been respectful to that boy because I'm scared of people that's ugly. When you ugly, dog, the world is cold. You could you could be a you could be caked up. You could have a bag, but you still ugly. That's why I'm scared of ugly people, man. So the ugly boy came in there, watched my show. On all you people who didn't get the truth, here's the truth right here. On everything I love, the man was watching me do my thing on stage. His jealousy just bust out of him. I didn't say nothing to that man. When I said on stage, if you've been in more than three movies, you probably had in your ass. That said, hey! As anybody who was there that night. When I said, if you done done three or more movies, you probably, I don't know how probably is spelled right now, but probably had it in your ass. That struck the nerve and nigga for him to start talking crazy and yelling while I was on stage. So all you people out there who think Corey is the nigga who is the aggressor, you wrong. He a nigga who wanted some attention. Look, he did about an extra 10 minutes than what he was supposed to do talking about my DVD coming out, y'all, and, and, and y'all got to support it and all that suck. Nigga. I hope this DVD, I, I hope this Netflix funny, god ass nigga. I want you to be rich as you could be because you ugly. Oh. You need Oprah Winfrey type paper to walk the earth like you want to walk the earth homie you ugly so there you guys have it right there again that is Corey Holcomb and the things that he had to say as it pertaining Donnell Rollins of course it's a lot longer you guys can you know head over to 5150 podcast if you guys want to check that out I just tried to get to the meat and potatoes and you guys can see pretty much Corey Holcomb alluded to him simply being jealous of him etc one thing I've never really seen I mean if that was just a regular person in that show they would have got thrown out immediately you know just to be able to see or to see that Donnell was able to just interrupt the show like that was 
kind of odd or kind of crazy. <clears throat> Not me calling a man, you know, jealous or anything like that. Those are Corey Holcomb's words, but I'm just saying, you know, if that's that man's set to be able to stand up and promote your your, your new comedy special and you know, all these other things. I don't know if he said it's on Netflix or whatever it was. But for him to be able to stand up and interrupt the man's show like that, like just like a heckler, really, you know, he pretty much used the same type of formula and put all the spotlight on him only to then come out and let it be known that he have a comedy special coming out. It seemed like all this right here was premeditated and it seemed like he knew at that moment he would use this chance to go viral to get people talking so then he can get some free promo on his comedy specials because usually you don't really hear people talking about the new Donnell Rollins comedy specials as much as like the bigger guys like the Cat Williams etc you don't really hear that from Donnell so he's using every type of metric in order to get his you know he could get his special out there as well and it seemed like it worked for him in this regard TMZ is on top of it a lot of guys are speaking about it two dudes are doing content with his name involved then he's in the algorithm etc and it worked out in his favor in this regard y'all get down in the comment section let me know what you guys think like comment subscribe turn that post notification bell on to all i'm gonna read what you gotta say in the comment section below please don't forget to hit the like button on the way out the door thank y'all so much for your time